in the Super 6 World Boxing Classic. Will it be round 13? They had a raucous battle three years ago and have spoken to each other countless times on the phone since then. Good left hook to start things off. Only two losses in this. This is a good first round for both men. And, so and the question's going to be here. Does Frotch have an answer for that punch early? Can he neutralize it, or better yet? Where they were in the sport, not being good. The defense and Gessler. Top five Frotch. Last punch landed after Gessler had slipped the others. But good body shot by Gessler. Followed by the left hook upstairs. Now Kessler. Off to a little quicker beginning to start the second round. He's been using his jab, going to the midsection. There's the run. The guy seems to be as basic as they come, but he's just a winner. The now body shot. throws a left hook to the body, and it sets up a right up top. And that hurt Kessler. Kessler's holding. First time Kessler's been hit hard. in a little tap with the right hand after he missed with the big right foot. Looking up. Now Kessler go, trying to go to the body. What's the body work doing for Mikkel Kessler? Well, he's... Crouch keeps landing that right hand behind the ear, Kessler. Again with the right hand. Three straight times, he made contact with the right hand. He can't keep giving that shot up. Good. Means necessary. Therefore, we've seen... Sometimes he doesn't have the skill level. Oh, beautiful right hand by Frotch. Goes out the window because his heart is just bigger. Now Carl Frotch starting to gain confidence. Raising the top of his head. Now Kessler with the left hook that gets in. Kessler starting to... More and more now the question begins to arise. Can Kessler let his hands go enough? You can feel the pace picking up. And here's the wild card. I'm just, it's the left oh. hook. And there it is by Frotch. Straighter and what he's doing, but a looping right hand by Carl Frotch, and Kessler's down. But did he slip? If Kessler, we'll see. Oh, another crushing right hand. Backed up Mikkel Kessler. Now Frotch moving in. Kessler looks woozy. Kessler trying to deliver the can opening right hand. Inviting him into the party. He's winning these rounds, but we still got a long way to go. Hard right hand by Kessler. Momentarily stunned Carl Frotch. Here we go. Now Frock seizes the momentum. Brings the crowd to life. Frock's just missing with the right hand. Your, your neck is right there on a swivel. You need to duck or either bend your body left or right in angles. If Kessler feels a little differently. Well, he's definitely able to reach him. And what I, I would hate to watch tape of a guy like Frock because you think, this guy can't beat me. But when you get in the ring, it's a total different thing. He's so elusive in a really unorthodox. got to do something different. Now he backs Frotch up to the ropes. Brooks. Carl Frotch, the challenger and former WBA champ, Mikkel Kessler. There was a warning for a low blow against Mikkel Kessler, and he lands a huge right hand. A lot of what goes on in fights, especially when the judges are concerned, you want to make sure that your body language is always in command. Frotch is starting to try to block that Kessler left hook, bringing his right hand up. To stay tuned and see how the referee scores it. Oh, big right hand by Kessler. Frotch says it hit him on the back of the head. Now Kessler moving in. He's gaining confidence. Kessler loading up on his punches now, and that's the end. The body. Hard right hand by Frotch. Kessler momentarily wobbled by that one. Frotch has got something to work with here. What a round. 
What a fight! Yep. We haven't been seeing him use. That's a real oh, oh my. my nice staggering right hand He's by hurt. Kessler and Frotch is hurt. Frotch's legs wobble, hands up. Kessler, can he finish him? Frotch knocked down only one time in his entire career against Jermaine Taylor in his first title defense. On the bridge of his nose, Kessler putting his punches together. by Frotch. That landed with a thud you could hear reverberating around ringside. Third so right dead. hand by Kessler over the top. Crowd trying to lift Carl Frotch. Frotch trying to reward them. He's landed some heavy stuff in the last couple minutes. Right hand by Frotch again. Kessler comes back with a right of his own. Is coming on to Kessler hold him off. Frotch willing himself. Hard right hand by Kessler. A perfect counter shot. He's been whipped. Right hand landed for Frotch. Right hand landed for Kessler. Good left hook. So that's what sets this up, I think, as a very interesting scenario, even with Kessler doing so well here. Frotch with a cut on the bridge of the nose, mothballs. And he's tried the uppercut a few more times, which is a very good punch for him, but doesn't land all the time. And there, that he wants to continue. There's that his right career. hand. There it is. Excuse me, Gus. That's a right hand that a counter punch from Kessler. to have his head down, he can't see that punch. Left uppercut landing for Kessler. Now a left hook landing for Frotch. Double left hook landing for Frotch. Kessler can counter punch Frotch when he's up in the air like that, throwing those punches with a left hook. Let his own shots go and take those risks to take over the rest of this fight. Or Frotch is going to stay in control. In other words, left hook for Kessler. Two shots from Frotch, one shot from Kessler. And the way Kessler reacts makes Frotch's shots look better. Maybe they are better. Perfect right hand for Ke ability to fight going forward. Do that in this one against Michael Kessler. It's a lot of as we told you, he is very good in the late rounds. Oh, there's a sneaky left hand. Carl Frotch is 4-0 in 12-round fights, and Kessler is 2-1. And, and then there was the... I think Frotch has already made the point he wanted to make with his jab. From here on in, he's throwing power punches. <laughs> Kessler landed a serious left hook downstairs. Big left hook by Kessler. Once again, Frotch shows no damage. For rounds, and I don't know why. Comes back with a left hook there. Hasn't been able to really hurt Frotch. Despite the number of heavy shots he's landed in Carl Frotch. Two offensive fighters who have landed big shots in the fight. Both these men looking to close the show and try and get this decision. I see a lot of little subtle intangibles that I now can see that makes Frotch such a, a, a hard, really a hard puzzle to solve. I mean, he has the movement, great counter puncher, just landing a big right hand. And Kessler looks a little wobbly. Kessler lands a left hook of his own now. Kessler, busy hands, has made all the difference so far tonight. Well, since their first fight, Crotch has been on a sort of murderer's road tour of the 168-pound weight class, whereas Kessler had a long layoff with double vision and another long layoff with an elbow injury that required surgery. Only 13 rounds of boxing in the last four years. So there's a vast difference in their activity level coming in. And it doesn't seem to have worn Frotch out, but rather has lifted him to a higher level.
Kessler's landed some great shots this round, Andre, and Frotch keeps coming. Three good shots right there from Kessler. Frotch comes right back. Bring himself wide open. That, that really favors Frotch, in my opinion, at this moment. Oh, oh big oh, oh. right half up. And here in Great Britain, you don't expect Kessler to be getting breaks on the cards. Not at all. Oh, he bucked the front. Yes, he did. Well, we haven't had a war yet in this tournament. We're getting one now. Yes, we are. Wow. Now Frotch coming back. Punch up on Cole Frotch. Blood streaming from above the left eye. Kessler is definitely having his best round of the fight. In fact, the last minute has been his best minute of the fight. That's right. Genuinely, it seems hurting Frotch. But here comes Frotch with that warrior comeback. Okay, you got me. I'm going to get you. Right now. Tremendous. That was Frotch good. doubling up the jab. Meanwhile, Kessler with a double jab and a right hand that lands on the chin of front. Both these fighters has, have given their all from the very beginning of this one. It's been... Kessler cut over his left eye. Now Kessler moving in. Montoya told him to take it if he wants it. Here's Kessler. Frotch answering. And just to cover the obvious base, if any of these scorecards were closer than Harold's after nine rounds, Kessler may have won the last three. What a close. Just as in their first fight, these two warriors now are here comes on Frotch. Now. Here comes the last rally from Frotch. Courage right now for these two gentlemen. In the center of the ring, toe to toe. Nice left hook by Frotch. Backs up Kessler. Another left hook by Frotch. Kessler going to the body. Under a minute to go. Look at him. Toe to toe. Man to man. Kessler with Frotch on the ropes. Now Frotch fights off the ropes. A world title on the line. The WBC Super Middleweight belt will be determined in the next 30 seconds. Kessler backing up now. This is what they remember and this is what they got tonight. There's no pretense of defense from Carl Frotch here. He's willing to trade shots down the stretch. Wild right hand by Kessler. Frotch pulls him into the corner. 20,000 on their feet in the O2 Arena. Frotch looking for a closing knockout. Talk about laying it all on the line. What a fight here in Denmark. Five seconds, right hand, left hook, Kessler, and that's it.